Hi, I'm Reverend Garth Schumacher, and you've come to the lectionary Bible study of the Congregational United Church of Christ from Amory, Wisconsin. And again, I'm glad that you're here today. We're going to do a little bit differently our lectionary Bible study that ends on August 8th, 2021, because this Sunday, we are going to be sending off our mission team and we're not using the lectionary. Uh, they have chosen a scripture that they would like to be sent on their way. And it goes something like this. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to God's purpose. Would you please pray with me? When we look into the heart of you, God, we see kindness and compassion. May your spirit dwell within us so that the fruits of kindness and compassion grow and ripen in our souls. In your name we pray, amen. So, this time, we're going to use that very small phrase from Romans 8, verse 28. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to God's purpose. We're going to use that brief phrase and we're going to break it down a little bit, do a little bit of studying, imagining what we might be feeling when we hear this phrase, because each word means something slightly differently. Here, here we go. I'll, I'll start. We know. Who are we? I'm assuming, I'm sure you are too, that we're talking about Christians we know we it's not what we believe it's not what we think it's not what we imagine it's what we as christians know this is rock this is bedrock okay we know all things work together this is talking about synchronicity. This is talking about how the world works. This is talking about there is a fabric and connections between all of reality. All things work together. They're all connected. There is a synergy that shapes us in the world. And this synergy is connected to God for this synergy, when it is connected to God, is good by the very definition of connecting with God. For those who love God is the next phrase. For those who love God, follow God, believe in God, work with God, pray to God, wonder about God, are fearful of God, are awestruck by the immensity of God. Any of these or all of these are those who love God, are called those who love God are called. In other words, there is a link. This calling is a link. Now, how can we be connected? How can we be linked with God? What are the various ways that we can be linked? We can talk about uh, drawing us toward God. This is a very strong link that St. Augustine used when talking about our connection and our being called to God, or there is a link that's questioning. We're not quite sure, but we're thinking about God. 
You hear how that works? Or we are fully dependent on God. We are all in with God and we need to have God in our lives. Or here's another one you may not have thought of. If we are counter dependent upon God. Have you heard that word before? That means that you don't want to be dependent on God at all, but you keep thinking about God. That's being counter dependent. And you are still, because you are in this push pull with God, you're still called because you're still thinking about God. You are called. Where are you? Where are you on that spectrum of being linked to God? How are you called? Finally, according to God's purpose. Now, that means that everything that we've been talking about, we know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called, and then according to his God's purpose. So everything that went before, everything is according to God's purpose so that we know, everything that we know, that things work together for good according, this is God's plan, for those who love God, those who are called by God, that is also something we call predestination. Okay. The scripture goes on and talks about be predetermination, being predestined to be with God. This has been a literal battle, not, not figuratively. We've talking, we're talking about wars here that have been fought over the idea of predestination. Are we predestined to be with or without God or do we have free will? Uh, St. Paul wrote in Romans 7, verse 15, that I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Does it sound like free will? I can't tell. Can you? Or St. Augustine, from his writing of the city of God, this was a response to the fact that Rome had just been sacked by the Visigoths in the fifth century, okay? So he's trying to tell people it wasn't because of Christians that the Visigoths won and sacked Rome. Here are important things we need to remember. And of course, a big part of St. Augustine's writings had to do with sin, okay? He argued against full free will with a simple proof. Now, get ready for this. He said that before the fall, men had free will control over their lusts. That's right. But after Adam and Eve disobeyed God with their free will at that time, that the men's lust developed a mind of its own, and this was a punishment. So before the fall, before Adam and Eve, <laughs> during Adam and Eve, humankind had free will. But after they made free will, of taking the apple from the tree, knowledge of good and evil, after that point, we no longer had free will. You can see why theologians have been very confused on this point. But consequently, our Protestant tradition, uh, the Calvinists, of which there are some strains of Calvinism within the United Church of Christ, believed in radical predestination. That means that radical predestination means that everybody's either in or out, and God has made that decision before you were even born. But we also have some other strains within our United Church of Christ that says uh, we accept salvation as a free choice. So 
in the United Church of Christ, fortunately in my book, we have our own choice to make of how much we believe of, on free will and predestination. I'll be honest with you. There are some things that I think are definitely free will. You know, we have some parts of our lives that is self-determination. And yet I also recognize parts of my life as I get older that they happened in such a way that all things were connected, that it seemed as if there was a plan in my life. You may have experienced some, some of this too. So my question for you this week, as we approach this wonderful send off of our mission team this coming Sunday is, where are you on this spectrum of belief in predestination or free will? How have you thought about it in the past and how has it changed? There's plenty to think about there. And like I say, there have been literal wars fought over that very question. So God be with you this week. Would you please pray with me? As we continue our called life, day by day, in the tasks that we do and with the people we meet, let us take care to build, renew, and support one another because all things do work together. And know that Christ, in the final analysis, is always with us. Go in peace. Amen. <laughs>